I'm excited to give us a honor to come and share this message this morning. And I must say in advance, I hear it, it is going to bless you. It is going to strengthen you. It is going to give you direction in your life. If you believe, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to talk about the, the title, the topic says the silent years. The silent years. Iminyaga etulile. Hallelujah. The silent years. Now this phrase is borrowed from uh, the theological studies. that speaks about the period between the last book, your Old Testament, and the first book, your New Testament. Amen. The phrase refers to the period between those two times. It refers to the intervening period between the Old Testament Volui Old Testament. It's referred to as the silent years. Actually, they also add, Guti, it is 400 years. The 400 years, the silent years. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it took about 400 years from the last time when the prophets spoke in the Old Testament, running into the time when there was an introduction of the New Testament with John the Baptist, when he started announcing the coming of the Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we getting it, Bazalwan? Amen. Please, I'm laying down the foundations. If you miss it from the beginning, Hallelujah. You get it now. The silent years is that time. Yet after 400 years of Tulile, anything new, in the Old Testament. Then it, there, was, there was a breaking forth when God raised Ulokuzana in the spirit of Elijah or John to come and announce the arrival of the Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. As I've said here, God said nothing. We will therefore be dealing with that intervening period of total silence. And what it teaches us in our time. So, so pegan leso skats the silent years, good to lead the four hundred years. Beso kuba koni fundo that will apply to us today in our present time. Hallelujah. Hamba na amige unasal. We are reading from our text, opening text, U Isaiah chapter seven, verse fourteen. Fundega ganji. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Let's continue. Just flip more pages. Isaiah 9, verses 6 to 7. For unto us a child is born, Unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. If we pay our the both scriptures were prophetic. God used his prophet, O Isaiah, to announce, could there be a time, hallelujah, where the son will be born, his name will be called Emmanuel, meaning that God with us. But he was talking about the future, future distance. Hallelujah. Why Kuluma in his time, but pointing into the future. Kutkono zozalwa, ozoba umsindi isiga Israel. 
also represent what God is with you because he'll come to you as a savior, as a redeemer. Hallelujah. Umbuso uzo wa sema shombe ako. Iyabo nise kutu uzo bezi. Uzo figa njengo mtuana. A child is born. A son is given. And the authority will be upon him. He will call by these glorious names. Hallelujah. He will be a counselor, a wonderful one. He will be a mighty God. Uzo be e unkunkulu lo mtuana uzo zalo. He will be an everlasting father. He'll be the Prince of Peace. Amen. We am describe Allah Isaiah. We am beggar. Good is coming. Then come with me. What happened after that? As I've said, sesing ni legu total silence. Yeah, for hundred years. Suddenly after that, it was total quiet. Hallelujah. Nothing else God said. Hallelujah. Amen. Years passed by, 100 years, 200 years, 300 years, nothing is happening. But something was happening this side. God was silent. Inverted commas. But remember the prophecy or the prophecies that were pointing to Christ were promising them a savior. Hallelujah. But in the interim, what was happening? Hallelujah. What was happening? Down here, who Israel got to be attacked and overpowered by the Romans. Just that nation. Hallelujah. Get the picture. Get the picture. So when that time was prolonged, not, God said nothing. No Savior was arriving. Hallelujah. No Emmanuel was coming. But go Israel, something was happening. They were overpowered by, the, by, by, by this, uh, this enemy, this nation, the Romans. So many in the nation became agitated and restless when the promise did not materialize. But mm -hmm. Baba agitated, Baba restless. prophet Basho. Who's going to be our redeemer, our deliverer? They took matters into their own hands. Hallelujah. Several groups resorted to wage resistance Guerrilla warfare against the occupying forces. But I never see men land. I'm a Jew. But for no attacker, the Roman soldiers, the Roman authority. Hallelujah. But it's is all what in um sin this way to go to a weasa agaga figi. We are not going to sit down and allow these uncircumcised people to come and rule us. But that he can. But ham ba ba yonza jani. Ba yon. But listen, hallelujah, they wanted, to, they wanted to hasten the promise of the Messiah. But let's also assist, assist. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many were slaughtered by the enemies, tortured and slaughtered. They were defeated, hallelujah, until John the Baptist announced the arrival of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Go and read it. You can do it your own assignment. Just go, just Google inter, intertestamental times. That period, intertestamental time. It's cut between the testaments. Wambe was was tolela gutu Israel wa velelo yini nani nani azama uguti abone the manifestation of what God has promised. Hallelujah. Something powerful and spectacular broke the silence. Nyapinda food. I'm first. I'm 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 nyakichi. 
What success in Jalo? Many had failed, many were killed, many were tortured, and there was no savior. Suddenly, that silence of 400 years was broken. Hallelujah. Let's read the scripture. I want to support everything that I say with the scripture. Let's read Galatians chapter 4. Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons to redeem those who were under the law, but that you might receive, sorry, the adoption of, of, as sons. I've written here that God, in his time, in his time, not in the time of Romans, not in the time of Israel, in his time, hallelujah, he did what was all right. He delivered on the promise he has made to his people. The Messiah was born. Hallelujah. You get the phrase. You get that phrase that, is, that, that, that unlocks every other thing. It says there, but when the fullness of time, God acted. Bazalone, when God promises and he seems to be quiet, he is not quiet. He's still in the business of working out that promise. Hallelujah. There is always that time that will come that will give birth to the promise that God has made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In these promises, Unkunukulu had already carved out and crafted good in his calendar. Ah. In his calendar. Not your calendar or my calendar. He has already set up good at this time. It will be the fullness of time. God, that's why I see about the phrase. Sometimes he says, Kuluma lezinto sis ko shwe. God is neither early, neither late nor late. He's never ever early nor late. I said early, I guess in general, Papa in a Vutuang. He's always saying, just abide by the promise that I've given you. And wait for the fullness of time. And the fullness, fullness of time is his time. Notice cuts at the calendar go to 2020, February. 400 years. God was silent. And suddenly, in the fullness of time, which will conceive and give birth to the to the son, and that son is the son of the living God. He'll be the savior of his people. Hallelujah. Amen. The savior of the world. It is of critical sorry. It is of critical importance to wait for God's fullness of time, or fullness of the time. Again, 30 minutes, one or two. It is of critical importance to wait for God's fullness of time. Hallelujah. To avoid aborting what has been promised. Ugubulala in to unkunkulu itembi seal. Lava got a bala ba agitated bala. They, they, they were aborting what God has promised. They're trying to abort what God has promised. You may be sitting here, in your fast forward. You may be sitting here. Already you fall victim to that. He has promised you something. 
God cares for those who locus on. Hallelujah. Amen. I need to do something as well. means something. Hallelujah. But there are times when God has promised. Call into Fanaguyenze, but our Hallelujah. Because when you do so, you'll abort the plan and the purpose and the promise in your life. Hallelujah. Here are other good examples from the scriptures. Let's look at it at a different angle. Luke chapter 2, verse 25. Skaling Ayo. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. Come on, let's pause. The agitators during the 400 years who fought their way to bring the kingdom of Israel, to establish the kingdom of Israel, they failed dismally. They died, some of them. Hallelujah. But we are given an example here. Because there were people who are different. Here's a man, Simeon. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God was upon him. He was a very devout man. Hallelujah. I want to point quickly to that. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel. What was the consolation of Israel? The consolation of Israel was the deliverance of Israel when the king comes. The king that was prophesied about, about Lokuzan, about Isaiah, the scriptures that we've read. So Ulokuzana, this man, because he had the spirit of God upon himself, hallelujah, little people, he was waiting. He was not creating Amalokuzana, other messiahs. He was not trying something else. He knew what he, at some point, God is going to send us a messiah. Azos tuduza. Azos kulula. When God has promised you in your problem that he will come through for you, wait! His consolation will come. So this man, Bam Kugula, they are pointing out yeah, in a particular in scripture. People are not just mentioned in scripture for the sake of mentioning. It's for a reason to encourage us. Good, these were men who were different. Simeon was different. Hallelujah. And to the point, Yoguti, Uma Ujesu, no Mama, Bempete, no, no, no. Joseph and Mary, according to the custom, when he was eight days old, they took him into the temple. You remember the story? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, saints. To go and offer a sacrifice of two doves. Hallelujah. Little baby, fullness of time. Fullness of time. When the fullness of time has come, is into Zienzek. You can't miss it if you have been waiting. Hallelujah. But if you are not waiting, you won't even read the time. You'll miss it. But this man, because he had the Spirit of God upon himself, the Spirit moved him. The Spirit told him, would go to the temple. Why Nagas? Remember, the birth of Christ was a secret to many people. Baba Nagas go to court. But Yena, why Chelo Agwaki? Because he was waiting for the consolation of Israel. He never aborted God's plan. He left his house morning when Lord Hambe Temple. Now Nagas, which is going to meet Christ, the baby Christ. Aga figa. What to morning when we go? Abu Mama Bebeza na Baba Baba leta bantuan. That was custom. But the Spirit of God said, this is the fullness of time. This is the Savior that Isaiah and many prophets had promised. It's him. That baby, it's him. That baby is the consolation of Israel. Yes. Amen. That's why God had promised him good. You'll never see death until you see the Savior, the Messiah of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. 
Sometimes I see Nandi. One in Yembez. Women of Shung. Ulashegelo is in. Ulashegelo Abangani. You appear like a fool. But you wait. Because the fullness of time will come. Here's another example, Bazal. Let's cut some consolation of Israel. Now there was one, Anna, 36 to 38, same book, Luke chapter 2. Now there was a, one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years who did not depart from the temple but served God with fastings and prayer night and day. Lalela. And coming, and coming in that instant, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all those who hoped for the redemption of Jerusalem. She was a partaker as well. Now, I got a shallot temple in. Nango, Simeon. Hallelujah. Ubonga, Unkunkulu. Ugut Nango Mutubesim Linden. Naya Ukona, Mobu Shallot temple in Ulindine. To fastings and prayers and Yonkel and Tolo Coco. Hallelujah. Ulindine. Naya Moing, William J. Langoba. Boba B. Lu Anna, no Simeon. They were waiting for the consolation of Israel. The fullness of time had come. Hallelujah. What a glorious moment it is, Bazalwa, when God delivers. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, Bakshagayo, they turn around, but how? Gwenzagalan. Hallelujah. When God come in his own visitation, when God come to deliver on his promise. Hallelujah. Simeon and Anna were, were waiting with a sense of expectancy, with faith on the arrival of the Messiah. They lived in anticipation. In anticipation. It was an inter... In, lived in a state of anticipation. Anticipation. If you call it, you can't get it. You can't get it. You can't I'm looking over, I'm expecting something. And I'm definitely sure good lento is of But when I was pity zel and you say I'm waiting for something. Any time in a figure. Hallelujah. So Anna no Simeon were like that. Every single day, Umabaz worship and praise God and serve God. How? It could be this day. It could be this moment. I will surely bring it to pass. Hallelujah. That's why you are not going to die until you see the Messiah. Bafa banye bafa bandula yena wasala akona na lo koko wasala seven years mshatwin wasala seventy something years a umfelogas watunkunkunu wena ngoba ulindeli consolation hey you are rewarded unkunkunu hey uma uma umtemu unkunkunu he will reward you in public pepeneneing he will not make you a shame or a fool he will not make you a laughing a laughing stock you will never be a laughing stock. If you wait upon God. <sighs> Here's another silent time. God speaks to his servant, his friend, who Abraham. Genesis chapter 15, verse 13 to 14. Then he said to Abraham, Genesis 15, 13 to 14. Then he said to Abraham, that time it was still Abraham, Know certainly that your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not theirs, and will serve them, and they will afflict them for 400 years. There's that another 400 years. They are born only 400 people, they are born to 400 years. And also the nation whom they serve, I will judge. Afterward, afterward, 
they shall come out with great possessions. I should say a sadly story. Ngulungulum jela ahead of time. Uti your people, your descendants, they'll be slaves for 400 years. That's bad news. But there's good news. There's good news. After 400 years, me Nankulungul will judge that nation. And to cap it all, in my deliverance, it's going to happen exactly as he has said. Nothing less, nothing more. What was Puma and Umaba Puma when they leave out Bazo Puma with possessions? Do you know what happened when Umaba Puma is right? You know the story. Utuya Sazgar. You know what? Aba Puma. They are oppressors. They are enslavers. Aba Puma. Batatama Kolid. Boland Utobekwe. Baniga. The slaves. Kutin Hambinga. Shinyo Konsum Kulunkulwe. As God said, Watumaba Puma, Ajelubaba, Abu Abraham, when I deliver them, the enemy nation will give them possessions. Bazo Puma, be rich. Slaves from slavery to richness, thinking rich. Mama Nunkunungu. Hallelujah. But it was 400 years, let's not forget, of silence. But God had already assured them that in the promise of deliverance, from the slavery. Sure, in time, God fulfilled his promise to Abraham's descendants. Exodus chapter 12, I'm not going to stay. Verses 40 to 41. Exodus 12, 40 to 41. Now the, the surgeon or the travel of Israel who lived in Egypt was 430 years. That's a discrepancy, 30 years. And it came to pass at the end of the 400 years and 30 years, on the very day, it came to pass that all the armies of the Lord went out of Egypt. Hallelujah. I pay a period. Job Unkulukule Tembisi Legu Abraham. Hallelujah. Bapuma with great pomp. Hallelujah. Setona Bazalwan. Hallelujah. It's going to take trusting him and having faith in him. That means waiting on him. Hallelujah. God raised Moses to be their leader. We know that. In time, he was a man anointed by God, which is going to be a leader. God was going to raise him. I say, Egypt, the deliverer was already born. The deliverer was already born in, in Lokuzan and Moses. I got say Egypt, hallelujah, before he fled to Midian. Say, Fuga lente paga to work. Go to me, I'm a deliverer. Eh? Ubula lamki beat. What do you call Okai. Uzo apoti plen lamwe. I'm not going to deliver my people in Ale Fashini. I'm going to go to the Yen. Uzo Yen, one by one, but that. Uzo Tata go in a jobunji. I'm going to take you another 40 years. Muponzeli. We will lose his Muzo bonisa gutimina. When I deliver, I deliver people according to my method and according to my ways. It's God's way. We submit, Basalwane. We submit. We humble ourselves to God's declared principles and ways. Asibi hoti, asibi pagami, sifunugwenzi zinto zetu. God does not need our brains. God does not need our ability. He needs us to trust Him. Besunkunukulu yeti live. On tatu Moses. Agasabuya is humble. Yena lomutuka tabula labanya bantu lape elokuza nini. Sega humble, majuta ngwazu kuluma. Atunkuluwe na it's fine. What your brother Aaron Uzo Lalela when a young Kulunku. When a Moses is over Kulunku, who are his island to lay? Atun Kulunku, meaning Zokulmagu and Moses, when you speak to your brother as if I'm speaking to him. God was in charge now. The fullness of time had come. Everybody was submitting, was surrendering to God's ways. Hallelujah. The Lao Pumala, 
Isn't all Zaku's chingele le dustbin? I hope you understand. I'm sounding radical. Yongi mi zamoyako. Hallelujah. To execute, to hasten what God has promised you. Because I believe, because I believe, you and me, now it's lapopans, many of us who are sitting pro with promises that God has given us on an individual capacities. We're sitting here as a ministry. Cinema promises wait, but it's, it's silent. Some of the things, who toots? But today, Uzogwa's go to Tula, Aksug Tula with Jehovah. Ah, in daughter, my daughter. The man of war, God our Savior, he's busy. He's about to do a show off. He's, he's about to, 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 to demonstrate. But he wants people who cooperate, who'll fall into line with him, not the flesh. The last one. The last one. Yeah. The last one. I like this one. Because it, 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 it exemplifies and exemplify what I need to communicate to you this morning. As food, blessings with Kaza. Just a few minutes, Mrs. Zotanas. Romans 4. Romans chapter 4. So, so, funda mavesana ambala. So that we can grasp the story. Romans 4, you know it so well. That's why I'm going verse by verse, Nilo Kuzan and Kaz, or word by word. From 18. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations just as, as it had been said to him just as it has been said or promised to him so shall your offspring be without weakening in his faith mark that he faced the fact that his body was good as dead since he was about 100 years old. And that Sarah's womb was dead. She was no longer productive. Yet he did not waver. True unbelief regarding the promise of God. But instead was strengthened in what? In his faith in God. And gave glory to God. Being fully persuaded, being fully convinced that God had the power to do what He had promised. Look at me. No porosha on a sazi story ska ska Abraham. We were taught right in Okuzana Sunday school, primary, everywhere. This story has been told umpteen time, time and time and again. Hallelujah. When God gave Abraham the promise, remember, Akala Gut, his servant, is going to inherit his riches. Shut up. I'm putting my words. This servant, Eliaz, is not going to inherit your, your, your riches. The son that comes from your loins, born of you, will inherit all the riches. The son that comes from you. Hallelujah. He was 75 years old. Hallelujah. To the time when the three visitors have preached about it several weeks back. You remember? The word of prophecy. Three angels representing God. They came by. Was entertainer. Or Abraham. Remember? Or receive. Masabakatid. They look towards Gomorrah and Sodom. He's walking them out. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, sorry. Before he walked them out, Maseba Puma Inli, attendee. But a son will be born to you. Usara will conceive. 
And this time next year, you'll have a son. When that prophecy, when that word came to the angel, O Abraham got done at 75. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah food. 75 years. To the time, sorry. No, no, no. That's Lungis. Amen. Go Eliaza Agam Agam Promisa. He was 75 years. Hallelujah. Nashanganis, let me correct that. What to Guru? Ozo Zalwa Uwe. We are not so live. He was 75 years. When the angels came to give that Lokuza and the prophets good, this time next year, a son will be born to you. To Lokuza no Usara. He was 100 years old. Yeah, but for no capture and love on our time for the Sushang and the I'm correcting myself. I wanted to tell you it was 25 long years. Umdwana Tenji Siwe, Usara Wakula, Wakula Usara, was Wafigala Lapis Bello to Saka Sifile. Setolan Bazalwan, naturally, she was not in a position to conceive anymore. You and I, we know it so well. But at a certain age, women cannot conceive. God has placed it like that. God has placed it like that. God has placed it like that. God did it deliberately. Ah, oh, my God. Unkulukulu wae ngafu nguti bati. Ah, vele. Begzo gwenzeka. God doesn't want people and the devil to take credit. At times, we are seeing a little see more. Getting worse and worse. And people will come to you. But you are about to turn to Azigash. Ye no nga yenzanga gash. Why unkulukulu nga pendu? Why lending and things? Catch a city and gaga. Kunin funi inju. Kunin funum sevens. When solofuni healing. When are you going to get it? There's something wrong with you. But that's why I discourage people of us who have been tandas or young and lay. Wamunga not long tandas, let the item yaku, get not long tandas, let the item yaku. What did God say to you in the first time? What did He say to you the first time? What did he promise you the first time? That which he promised you the first time. He of Anuku Kakarele Guyo. Umagulenta Tembi say, Oh, nah. Because also attendant and tenders, they prophesy on you. They'll tell you what you need to do this, you do this, you do that. You stand. Oh, Abraham, that's what he did when God told him. When God told him that a son will be born of him, not to Eliaza, one little he didn't waver through unbelief, as hang and yagas, but through faith, one niggas are the glory unto God. Look at me, saints. I'm not talking about something that I don't know. I've experienced some of these things. When there's no result, there is nothing. There is no manifestation. And yet when you went to God in the first time, God promised you, Aguna Luto, Aguen Zeguluto. There have been at times when I will weep and cry. Aksim Nandi. But you resolve. But you resolve. You make a resolution. You become resolute. Good, I'll rather die no sugar. As Tembi sends Gangulungu. I'll wait for him. I'll wait for God to manifest and bring the answer. Because in time, he'll do it. Because the word says, faithful is he. That is promised. Tembagele lo tembisi. Aksu putu ako. Aksi abangan bako. Abak tembisa ibese baji. He's faithful. He'll not leave you nor forsake you. He'll come through for you. Mbantu sebak shile. Zinto zik shile. Nge koluto. Na utu ya pega koluto. Ayiko into nga yanza. We've got nowhere to tend to but to tend to him. That's when I believe good little he gave glory to God. I got forgot every single time looking at his wife, there's no child. He's a laughing stock, but he did what? He gave thanks to God. Good Baba Nyabom. Indodana. Yami no sar. Here's a caveat. 
Yeah, turn the pipe in. I love the Bible because it doesn't hide anything. The famous father, Baba went to Abraham. Do you know who Abraham was? Baba Akone. Mama goes to watch the Labantu. I'm a tutor. I'm a tutor. They they seem not to police corners. They seem not to like that. But Abraham is our father. He's a father of nations. It is born world of the faith of Abraham, because he believed God and it was credited to him to be righteous. What's in this, Abraham? Absug let's cut unkulu kulem keep a doubter. What unkulu? Look at the sky. If you can number these stars, then your descendants will be as many as that. Manja ma chuta kango to Baba Abu, now to Baba Wait. Baba Wait to go Abraham of faith. Hallelujah. Amazing stories. Last of all, call. But he didn't waver through unbelief. Amen. Where, man? Until the need. Hallelujah. Amen. But there was a time when he was jittery. There was a time when he was? Say your bed. He was jittery. I remember the, con the conversation, maybe. Yeah, I couldn't attend in love. Baba. 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 Gusho Usar. No boy is a master. Sizol Busela Levangel, Boba. Abo Abo Mahama Fanebas is a master. Kosiam. I pan you in a New Testament. Little me, Nabo Mahama Fuzanu Mama Wen. Usar, why be a Ulo Kuzan and Kosiam? In Kosiam, I issue to Muto Kandayo. Isho my leader. Hallelujah, and he called up on Fulisama couples. But I'm sure what? Bema Baba. Lendo. We are born in Jan. Do you see the situation? I've, I'm long past the stage of giving you a son. How about my servant, Uhega? After all, he's a son born into the family. Uzo bizo ngawe. Uguti aga pumigimi. But wait. He was jittery. They were jittery. Me nang play me usara yedo. Me play man no baba wait. Because I ngai gain ze ganga vumang. And unku unku lo aikulme no Abraham, not no Sara. Kwa kufanya gani ati mam? I'm sorry. La pa kuheka? That's a servant. When you talk unku unku, what value Ishmael? Good deal. What vela? Ishmael is saying, "Upon a man, who compete no 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 Israel, bazondana." Because we say, "Tune in as Abu Yusuf, Abu Yemshabin, as we la mula, la bantu anabaitu, baga Abraham." We are live. Hallelujah! It was a terrible mistake, but nevertheless, see Abu, we take the name Wala Lela. Amen. Or Abraham, he turned around. What? What? In the Lifayako, he's going to be with you, Nosar. In other words, go back to my promise. Hey, good night, my precious lap hands. Now, so and so, Nosar, so and so, and those are Kimi Kukunyana, or in Zile Pam Gunkunkun, Hamboy Tilly, or Billy's. Ham Yong Janu Penduge, Utibaba Yimilo. Besen bildei zintonga zangu zisho. Besen echo to the promises that you have given me. Because God is gracious, my Lord. Oh, our God is gracious. He won't condemn you forever. Mau penduga, uti baba, waung tembisile, na suga na yotata iplan B. Pena ba itanda gabmangut. Hey, fundi swala. Hey, fundi swat. Don't be stupid. Have plan A. If plan A fails, have plan B. Anya ntala basalo anya ntala ngimela ngumfundiswe. Unkulunkulu ne plan B. I fulumlo mo akugle mask. Why is there no more plan B? When God promises, He's stuck with plan A. Ngamanu ufe ufe gu plan A na ngegu ufe because He will surely come through for you. Hey, he will surely come through for you. 
ungakuk izinto kuphela izinto kwenze yonke into but just for you athi unkulunkulu just for you kule family kule society just for this one whose mind is stayed on me who focus he's fixed on my promises i'm inviting you this sermon was designed for you good live streaming God is speaking directly to you. Hallelujah. This message is for you. When I was going through this painful moment, the silent period. This message has been for you. God gave it specifically for you. Ungnigezeyo na just for when. Hallelujah. God has not forgotten. He has neither forgotten nor reneging on the promise kunukulu isithembiso noma ithembisa kunezo akakhohlwana ena kayiyekelelana khona abantu abathembisayo uthi hayi bani bokuthembisile da haya ngisekho lapho god never reneges god never goes back on what he has promised hold on to your confession keep on trusting him keep on praising him and thanking him for the manifestation of the promise. Hallelujah. As I was growing up in the farms with my grandparents, Gognes Toro Samapun, a blazi, would love to be sent to buy some, some stuff. Because we know good whatever, we've bought once, we've finished buying everything. And then the guy on the, on the other side, the counter, the shopkeeper, so we whatever stuff that you came to buy. He comes. Let us say We love that. So we'd fight good to buy no Because we know good we'll get it bansela bonus. I'm giving you bonus. I'm giving you bonus. You've got the real stuff, Anish. But I'm giving you bonus. Take it with you. Psalm 27, verse 13. The peace of 27, 13. Nivuli. Says Vuli Lebazalon. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. In the land of the living. We are told them about when the message here keep on saying I call good. Even now, let's consider. What to say? Zobona umuna and ubu shebenkos emshabeni. Aogaga bugu ufa. Aogaga bugu shabalala. Links will be Verse at two fourteen. Wait. For the Lord. I think this sums all that I've been saying. Do what? Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart to do Zaga and wait for the Lord. Stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet. All of us, please. With our eyes closed. With our hands raised. I will pray. Baba was standing here in your presence. Our God, our Father. You call us sons and daughters. Father, thank you for reminding us. And for reminding each and every one of us who is here today. Thank you, Lord, that you have uplifted those who are downcast. Thank you, Lord, for the tremendous change that has happened. Because, Lord, you have vouched, you have guaranteed what your way that goes forth from your mouth shall never return to you void, having not accomplished 
your purpose. Ngiyabonga baba. Nazi impilo yabazi. Bangene baye enyinto, baphuma be enyinto. Sifuna ukuqala manje, sikunikeze udumo neyibongo. Ngaloko sokwenzekile. Thank you Lord for the the fullness of time. Bakona uNkulunkulu wethu right now. Abazo tola the fullness time the breaking forth. When we are man's breaking forth. Thank you, Lord, that they are, they, they, they are receiving their manifestation. They are receiving their blessings. And yet, Father, we know, but regardless, we serve a faithful God who won't go back on his word. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. And everybody says, Amen. Give praise to the Lord. Give glory unto God.